Although humans sin, we need to remember that sin is missing the mark. It's an archery term. You miss the mark of the target. We sin when we're out of tune with our divinity. We do things that are less than our highest potential. Yes, we do that. But that doesn't mean that we're not innately good. We're created in the image and likeness of God. The book of Genesis says that God created everything, and behold, it was very good. Very good. Our essence is good. And the first point I want to make today is to give yourself a valentine by accepting your innate goodness. I think that's pretty easy for this group to do. Accept your innate goodness. Sometimes we forget that, though. When asked, teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. We can't love God by condemning and rejecting ourselves. The belief that humans are essentially depraved and sinful is a product of the belief that there's separation between God and us. That God's up there somewhere and we're down here somewhere. But the truth, the reality that unity teaches and that other disciplines, yogic philosophy and other philosophies, that God is everywhere present. We're part of that God presence. We're expressions of God. And if God is good, that means you and I are good in our essence. The truth is we're expressions of God just like God. A wave is an expression of the ocean. That's our true nature. My essence is God. My essence is good. My essence is God. My essence is good. That came to me while I was speaking in the first service. I wrote it down. I thought, that's good. I like that. (laughs) My essence is God. My essence is good. Why don't you say that with me? My essence is God. My essence is good. We see this goodness expressed when there's a tragedy or some kind of big challenge going on in life and people who, people come forth and even risk their lives. People stretch forth their hands to help people uh, in times like this. I was reading about uh, Juan Montes de Oca who got a thousand dollar bonus from his employer He's a 29-year-old mattress salesman from Greece, New York. He took the extra money and bought 250 cases of water and rented a truck and drove 250 miles to Flint, Michigan, where the people's water is, is polluted by too much lead. He just wanted to do that. He said, it's extra money, so why not give it to somebody who's struggling? Wow. We see this goodness expressed in more simple ways on a daily basis when we look for it. We can see it in a kind word, a loving smile, a helping hand, a goodwill wish. We see it coming from others, and if we look for it, we see it in ourselves. This is evidence of the innate goodness, the innate spirit that's within us. Catch yourself being good and doing good. And let it remind you of the God within you. Catch yourself. Catch others doing good. And let it remind you of the goodness in other people. Accept your innate goodness. 